Hey everyone, Steve here. Uh, I'm gonna today we're gonna do the uh, Explore Outdoors challenge number one from Mapbox, and I'm gonna show you how to build a map of your favorite hometown spots. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, we're gonna use Mapbox Studio. So you go to mapbox.com/studio, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna be presented with this uh, layout of the studio. First thing we need to do is go to data sets. Uh, here you'll see an existing uh, data set that I created for the challenge. Uh, but today we're going to create a new data set. So you can start from scratch or we can upload a file. And I'm going to upload a GeoJSON file I've created. Uh, basically a GeoJSON file is a JSON file of uh, features which can be shapes, points, uh, layouts, layers. And uh, basically I have uh, just a bunch of points of rock climbs in the Jasper National Park area. Uh, so basically it's a type of point and points have coordinates which are uh, lat latitudes and longitudes. So let's import that into Mapbox Studio. Here it is. And we say confirm. And we're going to just call it Jasper Rock Climbs. We're going to leave the name the same as the file name create it uploads so we go to start editing sweet so here's all our points our geojson points uh, what you can see is they have a i've created a custom property which is a name and the name of the uh, climbing area so you see the different ones the colon hut rock gardens roadside attraction uh, the watchtower. Uh, what we can also do in, in uh, studio is we can add a custom point. So uh, basically if we this map is a missing one so uh, what we can do you know? so in here in about this area is a climbing route called uh, Hidden Valley and uh, one thing I want to point out that's a nice tip that I learned is this is uh, this level over here is actually the zoom level of your map um, so this look this comes in really handy to save you time when you uh, are importing these into uh, setting your default zoom level level for things like um, uh, iOS and Android apps so what we can do is we'll create a point over here and add Hidden Valley, which is about in here. And we'll say add property to this point. We'll call it name like the other ones. And we'll call it Hidden Valley. Confirm. And we'll hit save, which is going to save uh, our point. Sweet. Now we've got our map. And the next step we can do to uh, create our custom map is to export our tile set. So let's export it to a new tile set. We're just going to leave the name the same. So one thing to point out is this is just the data for the map. Um, it's not our actual map yet. Uh, we create a map style which uses our underlying data set. All right, so it's exported. Now what we can do is we're just gonna hit the back button and we can see our tile set here. So let's add our tile set to a map. So here is my old map that I created. Uh, let's start a new map. So we'll go pick template or upload style. And we're going to just use the light data set or the light uh, template. Now what we'll do is uh, 
we will go to add layer, data sources, I believe we can see mine down here, Jasper rock climbs that we just created, all of our points. go to data to see our area. So if we zoom in, we can see all of our climbing walls. And it's also showing the names of the routes we've created. So you can see them all here in Jasper. And then what we can do is to get our custom map in, uh, to be able to use it in iOS and um, Android apps, we can publish our map. So we can say publish. Publish as new. Sweet, and we've successfully uh, published our map, which we can see here.